welcome to ETS. I'm Donna Lopez, and this is your channel message for, <clears throat> excuse me, January 29th through to February 4th. So when I look to the side, I'm looking at my calendar. Otherwise, you might see me look elsewhere, but I'm just tuning in and connecting in with the information as I'm doing the video. <clears throat> so we're going to break it down and uh, look at the 29th through to the 31st, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's see what's going on there. All right. Well, right away, they're talking about uh, winding things up. It's like uh, you're winding up a project. You're winding up uh, completion of something. <clears throat> Or that uh, a, a work work that you were doing is winding up. I also see for a lot of you, you're coming out of hibernation. There's been a lot of you that have been um, in a, let's say, self-imposed kind of cocoon. And I see the, the shades coming up and light coming in. I feel a lot of healing coming in for many of you. <clears throat> I also see um, uh, they're doing, uh, they're showing me an equal sign and i feel like there's something about equality or equality amongst all men and women slash <laughs> and and animals i'm going to slash that too as well um so equality is coming in very strong i want to say around thursday friday uh, at that time however that shows up for us if there's going to be some sort of um declaration around equality or uh, something, but I feel good about it. It feels pronounced. It feels um, as though it's a long time coming, whatever this resolution is, and it does feel like a resolution. Uh, for others of you, <clears throat> you've been really noticing your magical self. It's almost as if you're thinking, am I doing something wrong that things are happening for me? Um, in other words, is this, am I conjuring things up? And they said, well, first of all, I'm going to tell you from Donna's perspective, we are always conjuring things up. We're just not always aware of what it is we're conjuring up in our mind. And so <clears throat> you are seeing the manifestation of your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, your desires. But part of you is not necessarily comfortable with that because you're not used to knowing that you have had that much power or that uh, you are that powerful of a being. Uh, first of all, we are all powerful beings powered by the light that is. All right. So, and we are always uh, open to being conscious co-creators, but we're not always conscious. So many of you are becoming very conscious of what you're creating and you're seeing the manifestation of that. Uh, but you're not used to it. So they're saying, please do some self-love, some self-healing. There's some grief that's being released. And uh, heal these old wounds that that uh, maybe you felt in harmony with being a prisoner of, of uh, circumstances. Or as if your hopes, dreams, and desires could not come to fruition. Because they very much are, can, and do. <clears throat> All right. All right, we're going to look at now the uh, weekend, the first and the second, which is Saturday, Sunday, February 1st and 2nd. All right, uh, I hear don't tell me that you don't love me. So I feel as though someone is wanting to back away from a relationship, but I also feel as though whomever this is on the receiving end of this is not wanting to hear that they don't love them. Um, although I don't feel that that's the specific message that's being relayed to the person. Um, I just feel that there's something you're needing to cut off a relationship that's going to be changing and um, the receivership on the end is, is in a space where they, uh, feel very fragile and don't want to necessarily hear that or hear it again or they don't feel that they have the wherewithal to move forward as a result of the ending of this relationship. Um, but as I'm doing this with my hands, they're talking about the house that we build and we all build this this like, you know, you think of this roof for this house that we build around ourselves that is our structure. It is what holds, uh, it is what um, is over us, that protects us, that 
that creates the feeling of safety and security and that uh, not everyone has that, <clears throat> but by you being honest and allowing that person to learn to become more secure within themselves and know that, you know, heal through that feeling of neglect or abandonment, because I feel like that's what it's bringing up for this person. And if you're that person, then um, know that these are uh, charges that are in your energy field around abandonment <clears throat> or lack of self-worth that are being highlighted. And it's not coming from that person or from this situation closing down, but it's just lighting up in your field because it's needing to be addressed for you again. I got to click in my room on that. So they're going to be really working to help build your energy back up and know that when uh, a door closes, of course, another one opens. I know that sounds like such a cliche, but um, there will come a time. And if you think about it right now, there are many times in our history where we go, where we thought that it was the end because the door shut. There's actually a new beginning and a new opening. <clears throat> All right, we're going to look at... Um, the third and the fourth, which is Monday, Tuesday. All right. Uh, all right. Maybe this is connected to what happens on the first, because I hear that uh, my conscience is bothering me. Uh, you know, so, so for the person that is ending or closing the door on this relationship, um, know that you're also helping that person step up, step up to that new version of themselves. Even though it doesn't feel like it, um, the easiest thing would be to come back in and say, oh no, let's be together. So they'll feel good, but you're not being true to yourself. And if you're not being true to yourself, you will not help them be true to themselves. So the spirit is really encouraging and supporting you in um, don't worry power through this. Um, that you, it is loving, loving, it, it is loving to say no. It is loving to say, no, thank you, um, not now. It is, uh, you know, it's okay to not, all right, let's put that a different way. They're just saying it's time for this closure. So learn to find peace with that within yourself, but notice to know too that you are being <clears throat> loving and kind by being truthful, all right, because your upliftment will be their upliftment, all right. Hmm, let's see what else there is. All right, and I hear don't be a follower. Um, I feel as though there could be a real charge around the third and the fourth more so of, of don't be a follower. Learn to speak up for yourself. Learn to have your own mind, your own thoughts. Um, you know, it's kind of like just because we go along with the crowd, well, you know what? If the whole crowd goes down, you go down with it. So no what it is you want to be in alignment with for yourself. Like what makes you feel good? What makes you have integrity and worth? And only we know that for ourselves personally. And uh, we all have a different scale of what that is for us. And it's really useful for you to really not be a follower. Really listen to what it is that you know is right for you and not be afraid. All right, and I'm hearing coming out of the closet. In other words, coming out of the closet and not being a follower also means that maybe you're somebody that others would follow, all right? That maybe it's time for you to stand alone, but also know that your tribe or your people, your circle of friends will come and meet you at that vibration as well. Interesting. All right, we're going to look at the whole thing from the 29th of January to the 4th of February as a whole. All right, they're talking about something like the ricochet effect. Um, that, to me, it's it's like when you throw something out and then it comes right back at you. You know, it ricochets off of something, comes right back. So be very mindful of your thinking. What you're putting out there is coming right back. Good, good, uh, good, neutral, or positive uh, or negative. You know, so know that uh, you know whatever you put out is going to come right back. It's just going to come right back. So be very mindful of what you're putting out there. Um, I also feel a new energy and a new vibration coming in in a very good way. It's interesting because they're showing me like Spanish castanets and uh, that is uh, like a very strong kind of vibratory like uh, raising of your vibration. So there's new energies coming in, new upliftment, new 
And for many of you, I'm seeing you're going to have, they're putting my hands like this because I said it's like having two, um, you know, those sticks that people walk with, walking sticks, right? But it's like not only are they, you're holding on to it higher, it's going to lift you up. So you're going to be uplifted and you're going to have the support to move forward in a new direction that you don't really, you're not completely familiar with, but uh, you will... Um, you will have the support of the, the two staffs that you're holding on to to navigate this new terrain. So you will be supported and uplifted. Um, I also hear something about a baby blanket. Um, <laughs> this is kind of different. Uh, so I, it, and it feels like a female, um, but, but I feel like I want to, or I also, I, I mean in terms of a female child female infant. Um, but I also am feeling like I'm building up some energy or sending some love and some healing to a female child. Uh, it feels like an infant. That was the word they're using. Infant to me would be, um, you know, from newborn to probably nine, 10 months, you know, still in that pretty much infant stage. Um, hmm. <clears throat> yes. I just feel like that child is going to need some extra love and support and healing. All right, let's see what else they have. Hmm. All right, they're saying there are no coincidences. Um, <laughs> they call it coincidence. Um, <clears throat> yes, and I do see things are coming up roses, and you're going to be able to smell the roses. In other words, you're going to be able to smell the fragrance. You know, spirit actually brings in an oral uh, uh, olfactory uh, scent. Uh, when they come around, uh, the Virgin Mary very often will come out around with that rose scent. But things are, the spirit world is listening to you and there is trust, love, and support coming in for you. There is so strong right here in front of us. So it's really coming in very powerfully to let you know that they love you, that they're with you, that they hear you, that they are um, noticing you, noticing them, and also Allowing yourself to be noticeable. In other words, allowing yourself not to stand in the shadow of someone else, but allowing yourself to stand in your own light with your own shadows and knowing that that's just part of humanity. It's part of being human. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're showing me um, a tricycle. There's a little boy on this tricycle and he's tricycling really, really, really fast. Like I'm really, really going like he's uh, putting a lot of like a tricycle is not as biz, big as a bicycle, but he's putting a lot of uh, physical energy into it, but it's fun. He's having fun and he's going far really quickly. All right. And so that's for many of you, you'll be going far very quickly. You will put the effort in, but it will be nothing to you because you like putting that effort into whatever it is you're trying to manifest. And I'm hearing something about January's baby. <laughs> so I feel like whatever this is, it had to do with something that began in January, but it's coming to, into fruition more so in this uh, first beginning week of February. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. Um, yeah, I, I want to share that uh, for myself. And I'm recording this on was it Janu January 26th. So I'm just going to share with many of you that there, uh, my dream states have been extremely lucid. I have had the angelic realms really coming in. I mean, very literally, I'm seeing the angelic wings come in. Um, spirit communication has been really powerful. And uh, so so the, the uh, energies, the, the veil... Like they say, the veil is thinning. There never has been a veil, as a friend said. You know, there really is no veil. <laughs> no, but there are different frequencies and vibrations that we do not always have, uh, that we're not always able to navigate. And the navigation is becoming broader, wider, uh, more expanded. Um, also, the uh, star beings are really coming in very strong and very direct and um, sharing many things about um, what, they, what they've shown me is earth and they've shown me uh, souls that are on the other side of life are choosing to come in to another timeline. This would have been a timeline around Roosevelt or, um, and also Churchill and um, that they are choosing to come back into the earth plane in that 
timeline to um, create some changes. And I really feel the changes are about our ability to know our star brothers and sisters a little more fully. All right. So um, with that, I, I just wanted to share that for those of you that do connect in different ways, um, because um, sometimes we, we are all connecting in this way, but we don't have the conversation. All right. So I'm just sharing that with all of you. With that, namaste, and I will um, see you next week. Thank you.